All right, here we got the, uh, we're gonna do the uh, review on the flashlight holder, the LZ flashlight holder with a streamlight. I ordered both of these off Amazon. I got the flashlight holder, which is the LZ, made by LZ. They also sell flashlights, but I went with the uh, streamlight. I also ordered off Amazon for $30. Um, and as you can tell, on this light, you need this, uh, the original front sight post on her. All the aftermarket flip-up sights won't be compatible with it. Um, but if you look at this picture, it also has accessories you can order for it uh, for a side rail. So if you wanted to uh, mount some up there, like a uh, if you want to put like a sling holder or whatnot up there, or a laser, or I, don't, I don't know why you would want to, but it's just options. Um, here's a better picture of it. It's a ZFH-1500 tactical flashlight holder. Um, with the streamlight that I did, it fits snug the way it is. It comes with these mounts and the hardware and Allen wrench. So if it was a smaller diameter flashlight, these would actually fit inside of there for a smaller for a smaller flashlight. If it was, if it was still too big, or say if it was too tight with the inserts, but too loose with this, it says in the instructions to just grind down these lips right here and you can adjust your fit. Um, I was able to slap it in without the without these retainers and it was a perfect fit. That's me pulling as hard as I can. This light ain't budging nowhere. It's it's sturdy. And I mean for $25 mount and a $30 light, I mean it's it's good for your money, so that's all I can think of. And yeah, we'll put links in the description of uh, where he got this stuff. So you guys can uh, buy it or do some research on your own. All right, well, thanks, bud. All right, so this is a uh, light. It's just a $30 flashlight. I got mounted on my uh, AR. As you can see, it's at roughly 25 yards. And I can see everything. There's nothing I can't see. So we'll try to back up a little bit, maybe 25 more yards, and test the light at uh, 50 yards. See if this light will hold up. All right, this is the uh, strobe setting on the sh on the light. The uh, the light's still mounted far enough on the barrel to where it's not leaving any shadow. You can tell it's not leaving any shadows from the barrel with the light mounted right below it. I don't know if you can see this, but there's only probably a good five inches there. And this also mounts. I mean, because that much in front of the handguard which is even made, so it's a pretty good mount. All right, so as you can see, it's probably about a good 50 yards right there. I can see just as good as I was at 25 yards. So this light's actually a really good light for what you're paying for, especially with a $25 mount. So that's a lot cheaper than a $130 mount on light. And paying for a for a handguard that extends all the way up towards your barrel, so it's money well spent.